Hey everybody, Steve Bazic, architect here from Build Show Network. Here I am, we're 500 feet below grade. I got the canary over in the corner in a cage. We probably have about five minutes to shoot this video, so I'm gonna have to make it pretty quick. No, I'm only kidding. Hey, I'm up here in Maine. If you saw those first two videos the last two weeks, we got to talk to Christy, who's not only the homeowner, but she's part of the GC team here for a proper modern home up here in Maine. And I had the privilege to do some work with them, design their own personal home. But we're below the concrete slab now. So we get to talk about how is this thing supported? How does our continuity of basement insulation integrate with the insulation at the steel beam? So you can see here, we have these steel beams and we talked about those in that first video. But the steel beam comes into the concrete wall here and notice that we have our rigid insulation running around the steel beam. So that provides the thermal break on the shelf that supports the metal deck <coughs> of the concrete. Um, that's a high compressive strength XPS. It was spec by the engineer. It's a high compressive strength XPS with supply chain issues and all of that. This is what we had to run with. It made the engineer happy. Everybody's happy. So that's what we're using on this project. So we have that 60 PSI high strength XPS, but <clears throat> we didn't want to carry that under the steel beam. We needed something even stronger there. So they make this very high dense thermal break. It's by a company called Armatherm. And when we get back to the studio, we'll look at that detail. I'll pull out the, the sheet, the spec sheet on the Armatherm. We can talk about it a little bit more in detail, but we'll go over that. But fine job by Proper Modern Home here up in Maine. They're doing a great job. Privilege to work with them. Let's head back to the studio and let's talk some details. Hey, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, what did I say? 500 feet below, whatever. Um, now, nah, down in that basement, steel frame, steel deck, concrete first floor. I um, must say, that is the first time I've ever done it for a residence. Um, I've done it for garages, um, but that's the first time we put it in the house. So, anyways, pretty cool details. Got a detail here. Got my good friend Big Red. And uh, let's have at it. All right, so. Here's a detail. It's not quite what I was standing there um, in front of, but this is in between the steel beams. You can see here's the foundation wall here. We have a little shelf here. The uh, deck that you saw is right here. Right? And that metal deck is coming in and out of the drawing, right? So it's in section. So it looks like it's floating, but it's actually getting supported by the steel I-beam that's here in the foreground, as well as the one in the background. And then this is the stuff that happens in between that steel beam and this pocket goes down at the steel beam. And this is where we saw that armatherm. We'll highlight that in the, the red box, but that's the armatherm block there and uh, but you can see here we have our two inch rigid insulation and you can see how it contours the foundation wall here right so falls nicely down that system so that everything is thermally broken and then we have the steel deck here notice that the Exterior 2x6 bearing wall is on the outside and that directly bears on the foundation there so it can react and push back so we don't have an issue there. This is a non load bearing wall. All right? So, but you can see how all of this stuff and then this, this section here the foam literally turns in and wraps around that steel beam and comes down here like that. 
where that steel beam is. So wherever we have that beam pocket, we have the rigid insulation wrapping around it, but we couldn't put the rigid insulation under the steel beam because it would crush. So hence the Armatherm, which has a uh, much stronger compressive strength, provides that thermal break so that we can effectively do that steel beam in there and not take the penalty of that touching the concrete wall because the concrete touches the outside here. And so whatever touches the concrete then conducts the same heat loss out through the concrete here, right? Because remember, heat moves from hot to cold. So up there in Maine, it isn't unusual for the inside here to want to be at say 70 degrees and the outside here even, you know, being 30 degrees. That's a 40 degree delta. So we don't want that heat just cruising out. So, and remember the most important words on insulation and air barrier, continuity is key. All right, so you can see here, we go up that full uh, 11 inch wall here between here, it's filled with cellulose, and that's roughly an R42 above grade wall. And we have our two inches there that aligns with that space in between the two framed walls. And then that two inches snakes around that shelf or goes down to the beam pocket and snakes around the steel beam. But then when it goes to the inside, we have that two inches of rigid insulation on the inside of the foundation wall. And then for the areas where that basement will get finished, we'll then frame a two by four wall here and we can fit finish it with an unfaced bat insulation at R13, coupled with the 13 in the wall, plus 13 gets us 26 across this assembly. So. You know, we maintain that continuity, 42 down to 26, but the 26, remember, is below grade, so the delta isn't quite that 40 degrees. The deeper we go, the more that number's going to diminish. So, but uh, no, great de detail. Kudos to uh, Proper Modern Home. Um, Kurt and Christy out there doing a great job on their personal house, and uh, yeah, looking good, and most importantly, performing as good as it looks. All right, there you have it. Thermally broken steel frame holding up a concrete slab first floor. First time for everything, I guess. So, you saw the details, we came, we conquered. If you're looking for more, Steve Basic Architect on Instagram, putting up stuff daily. Give it a follow, tell all your friends. And uh, yeah. You be part of the discussion. Don't just watch. Don't just read it and say, yeah, okay, and like it. Have be part of the discussion. Ask questions. Let's uh, let's talk about it. Um, if you're still looking for more, obviously the Build Show Network. Uh, me and all of my colleagues. Too much. Too many to uh, list here. But uh, go check them out. All those videos, thousands, literally. Go watch them. Learn from them. All recent stuff. Good stuff. Good contributors. So, and lastly, if you're looking for even more on Build a Podcast, my good friend Jake Bruton, Peter Yost, yeah, he does exist. We uh, talk it up, building science, building favorite books about the topics, all that good stuff. Go check it out on Build a Podcast. It's on all the audio channels. It's out there on YouTube. Uh, check it out. Anyways, until next time, long live our buildings. <laughs>